guys. What's up, Lair? Heading over to the show? Not yet. Gotta catch my pre-show nap. Namaste, laddie. Little Lulu lies loving me. Where? Hey, Roger. I, I, I love it, Roger, but they don't have orangutans in the show. But I guess I should never try anything. <laughs> What's up? <sighs> Hold on. Oh, my God. Hold on, you pastel freak. Put the beak away. Let's talk about this. Oh, look. My 500-pound friend with razor-sharp claws. <laughs> I, I, hold still. Bo, Vincent, what's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. Snack here was supposed to score me five pounds of shrimp. I had a little problem with my distributor. Little problem? All I got was cherry tomatoes. What, you think you could jerk me around, pal, just because I'm pink? Let's all have a big laugh. Pink guys eating itty bitty tomatoes. Vincent, cool it. This isn't about color, so don't play the pink card. <laughs> you owe me, gopher. Till then, use both this on my list. Gabish. <laughs> hey, baby, how you doing? Get lost. Whew. Thanks, buddy. Hey, check out my belly button. I'm using it as a pocket. Shrimp? Uh, not now, snack. It's nap time. Good idea. Stay beautiful, big man. Bye, Dad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sierra, where do you think you're going? Out. Jenna's stuck up older sisters in heat, and we're gonna watch her lower her standards. Uh, you know how we always told you you could tell us anything? Yeah. We're done with that. And sorry, you gotta babysit Hunter while Mom and I are at the show. Oh, come on, Dad. He could take care of himself. Besides, his rash grosses me out. You'll never catch me, General Zingulax. <laughs> 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 Hey, buddy. He's all yours. Oh. Hunter, catch. Oh, I missed you so much today, honey. Uh. Oh. Oh. Larry, what are you doing here? Based on your tone, I'm guessing the wrong thing. Yeah, you're supposed to be picking up my dad. You have to walk into the show. What? Is that today? Yeah, remember I have a photo shoot for that calendar? Oh, come on, Kate. I mean, I know your dad's old and all, but... Larry, it's not because he's old. It's just his pre-show ritual. He likes to be escorted to the stage. What about my pre-show ritual? It goes like this. I got an idea. How about you get your dad, and I'll do the photo shoot. <laughs> it's an all-female lion calendar. Eh? Eh? Miss July? Come on, Larry. It'll mean a lot to him. Kate, this might come as a shock, but your father and I broke up. I don't love him anymore. Larry, please, just do it for me. Uh, fine, fine. I haven't heard his lecture about Africa in about, oh, 48 hours now. Goodbye, sweetheart. Goodbye. I was talking to the couch. Sarmody. Sarmody? <laughs> Who's that? Who's that? Larry. Larry? Yeah. Uh, I thought you were some kind of whacked out hippie gonna murder me. <laughs> no, not me. No, no, not you. You have a different approach. You married my daughter. You're killing me slowly. Ha, <laughs> ha, good one. Well, we got to get to the show. <laughs> yes, the show. Big celebrity in the crowd tonight. Larry, let me ask you a question. Do you sense the excitement on a night like this? Way back there in the chorus with the less talented animals? <coughs> Not really. Now, nah, the last time I sensed any excitement was that time we couldn't wake you up. You know, when I grew up in Africa, I didn't crack wise to my elders. But <laughs> what would you know? You're zoo trash. You spent your youth in a zoo. While I, I spent mine roaming the grasslands, hunting wildebeest, surviving by my wits, all the while dreaming of a country called America and its glittering crown jewel, Las Vegas. Huh. When did I have salmon? 
Oh, look, the White Tigers are heading over to the stage. I should say hello. <sighs> Uh, we really need to get going. Hey, stripers, lazy throw rug looking wastes of fur. You do bupkis in the show. Fight me. <laughs> I'll come out there right now and move you up eight notches on the endangered species list. Fat. Okay, now I'm ready. Finally. Well, what's your rush? I was just thinking, maybe you need some time to stretch. I noticed you kind of grazed the hoop last night on your final jump. What are you saying? I'm old? No, I just... Feel these haunches. Spring-loaded. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Feel them. I, I'd rather not. Do it! Gotcha. Don't touch me, fruit cup. Point is, I'm as strong as ever. See you at the show. Thank you, thank you. I, of course, am Siegfried. And I am Roy. After being away for so long, these last few weeks of being back performing for you here in Las Vegas have been wonderful. Right, Siegfried? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Please accompany us now as we travel to the mystical land of the Pharaohs and Pyramids. <laughs> Oh my God, they're gonna die. Siegfried and Roy are gonna die. Wow, Courtney Thorne Smith has a great living room. Hmm, yeah. Ugh. Ah, Courtney. I licked her calves in a ginger ale ad once. Something chorus boys never get to do. Okay, marbles, polish. Tinkles, glug glug. Ginger, tushy. God, I love this business. In fact, it was Siegfried and I who darted the flames, putting out the fire which was burning. And now, we must stop and be very proud to be introducing to you our special guest. The Vice Principal for the United States, Dick Cheney. Cheney? It's like the tenth time. And now, here they are, the magical white lions. Keep your eyes on the old pro tonight, Cupcake. I've got something really special planned. <laughs> and now, the original White Lion is all begun with the star of our show, the Great Saboti! <laughs> and now we take to the air to the light group from above! We did this before, E.T. Watch this, Larry. <laughs> what is he doing? I don't know. He's not supposed to be up on the ball. Oh, oh, oh. Dad! Dad! Roy, the kitty, he's out of position. Whoa, my hairpiece. This would not have happened if you had flown your bicycle higher, further up away from the ground. Oh, it is the flying. No, it is your training of the kitty. Yes, that is my conclusion. You know what I am concluding? That you are hurtful to my person. That's it. I am disappearing myself to my room. Nein, Schwelgen! Ach, du! Enough of the weeping. It is time for the drying of our eyes and the doing of something. Yeah, yeah. We must do a change of the situation. <laughs> Larry. I'm sorry, Kate, but admit it. The whole thing was pretty hysterical. It was not. It was horrible. Oh, come on. Did you see the look on Siegfried's face? Ach, Tung, the lion, he is born. <laughs> <laughs> Larry! 
Did you hear the news? Sir Modi is out of the show. That old bastard is out of here. <clears throat> Hello, Kate. <laughs> What's happening now? <sighs> Simba was sad, and then Darth Vader said some made-up African crap. It's not fair. My father doesn't deserve this. Right. I mean, there wouldn't even be a show without him. He is the show. Absolutely. Oh, my God. You're glad this happened. What are you talking about? You've got Happy Tail. I do not. See? You're pathetic. Come here. I don't believe you. Fine. Forgive me if I'm not as upset as you. Your dad's always hated me. That's not true. First time I met him, I try to be polite. I go to sniff his bottom. He sprays me. That was an accident. He ran after me backwards, shouting, Take a shower, hippie. Admit it, Kate. In his eyes, I'm zoo trash. I'm never gonna be showbiz royalty like you and him. You're missing the point. No, you're missing the point. Your dad's losing it. He screwed up tonight. Bad. Siegfried and Roy absolutely made the right call. Mm-hmm. You know what? You win, Larry. My dad's old. Why don't we just shoot him full of tranquilizers and push him in the dolphin pool? Dad, are we gonna kill Grandpa? Come here. I believe the children are our future. Teach them well and let them All your the shrimps way. right here, Vincent. Five pounds, icy cold. Beautiful. Wait, wait a minute. There's only three shrimp here. Three shrimp do not make five pounds. Everything contracts when it's cold, Vincent. I've seen you coming out of the pool, and I know you know what I mean. You're dead, you rat bastard. Get over here. Rat bastard? I'm a gopher, and my daddy married my mama. Hey, come here. Ah. Snack. We gotta talk. Hey, I'm here for you, big man. What's up? Tip of the cap to Samoti, Larry. Or should I say, tip of the rug. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> uh, total jackass. Pity laugh. So, what's going on? Kate's mad at me. I heard. Look, here's the problem. You were right about Samoti, but you picked the wrong time to be right. But I am right. It doesn't matter. Your play in this situation, Larry, is to set aside your feelings for her dad and just be there for her. She needs you, man. And since when do you know so much about women? Well, Larry, I find that if you really listen to women, you can pick up on important clues that allow you to be truly sensitive to their emotional needs. Snack, honey, are you gonna be done soon? Woman, can't you see I'm talking? Oh. Man, I hate seeing Kate so upset. Damn! Woo! If I could just get Sarmodia's job back. Mm. Oh, thinking, my chunky friend. I got it. What you need is someone who can talk to Roy. And I don't like to brag, but around these parts, I'm known as the human whisperer. No one's ever called you that, not even once. We're animals. We can't talk to humans. Larry, king of the jungle, prepare to have your mind blown. Not gonna take my dignity. Yeah! A little more argon than usual for tonight's meditation, Leopold. This unhappiness has given me a new cause, Fitz, and I must vanquish him. You see, when humans meditate, their brains are more receptive to subliminal stimuli. That's S-T-I-M-U-L-I, -I, no E. Fine, I'll move on. A portal opens, allowing my thoughts and desires to enter. Where do you get this stuff? I read, Larry. And I make things up. Just do it. Good evening, Roy. Are you comfortable? Uh, yeah. Hey, we're in. How about this weather we've been having? They say it's a dry heat, but tell that to my armpits. Snack, hurry up, come on. Okay. <clears throat> you will keep Samodi in the show. Yeah. As the star. As the star. Yeah, yeah. Okay, repeat after me. I will keep Samodi in the show as the star. Yeah, 
I will call my father and let him know I forgive him. What? No, 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 no. Keep Samori in the show. Do you hear me, you stupid human? Keep... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Roy, how's it hanging? Oh, my God! Roy, what is happening? Why are you making of a commotion? I am fine. Larry, he saved my life. Oh. As you saved his long ago. Can it be? Fate has spoken. The circle is complete. Larry is our new star. I am so happy. I am sad. What if I made you a beer cabbage? Ooh. What a night. You know, Ginger, it was touch and go there for a moment, but in the end, I saved it. When are you gonna tell him he lost his job? Yeah, all the greats improvise. Sammy Davis Jr. once set Lola Falana on fire, then tapped out the flames with his magic feet. Oh, I miss you, you amazing one-eyed midget. Mom, sack up. Dad, we need to talk about the show. Ah, the show. Yeah, I think I'll do it for another 10 or 15 years, then I'll hand it off to Hunter. Would you like that, boy? That'd be neat! Ugh. I love him, but that kid bums me out. Dad, there's something I have to tell you. Oh my god, I knew it. He knocked you up again. Ah, uh, oh, you guys are talking. Um, I can, I can come back What later. do you have behind your back? Nothing. Nothing! What, are we playing a fakakta game? Let me see it! Yeah, uh... Hey, that's mine. I must have dropped that on stage during all the hoo-ha. Thanks. Ah, Hamlet. Now let's find you that nurse's outfit. <laughs> oh. I couldn't tell him. Well, here's something else you can't tell him. I'm the new lead lion in the show. Holy crap. Look, I felt bad about our fight before. Whip. So I went to see Siegfried and Roy. Freaks. All right, Sierra, out. How come I am never included in the adult discussions? Anyway, I want to get your dad his job back. Snack said he could talk to humans. He fell into a gas helmet. Blah, 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 long story short, I'm the new star. And Roy's full of beer cabbage. Wow. I'm really sorry. I never wanted this to happen. Larry, it's okay. I really appreciate what you tried to do. Really? Yeah, and if somebody has to be the new lead lion, well, I'm glad it's you. Thanks, honey. I guess I better go tell him. No, no, this one's mine. I'll tell him. You're serious? Yeah, I know he's not my biggest fan, but it really should come from me. I'll be back later, then we can cuddle and watch Conan. Uh, were you talking to me or the couch? Well, let's all meet at 12.30 and see what happens. All of me. Why not take all of me? Hey, folks, how you doing tonight? Good. And you, sir, is that your wife or did you lose a bet? <laughs> uh, Sarmody, there's something I need to tell you. What? You finally realize you're not good enough for my daughter? No, 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 that's not it. I'm rehearsing here, and each second you spend stammering, I could be getting even better. Well, uh, actually, it's about the show. You know how I've stayed on top for so long? It's not just good breeding. I, I know, but... It's my work ethic, honed in the wild. Uh, when uh... I grew up in Africa, I... You've been fired, you crazy old coot! What? They fired you and they made me the new lead. That's why I had the medallion. Siegfried and Roy gave it to me. Crap. Well, I guess part of me knew this was coming. Well, it was a hell of a ride. Could I ever tell you about the time I worked with the great Jackie Gleason? <laughs> it was a good time. Yes, sir. That was a good time.
You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy. Stop that. Okay. Look, I don't know what to say. I don't know how to cheer you up, and I definitely don't know if I can follow in your footsteps. Well, there's one way to find out. <laughs> At least you're not a tiger. Yeah. I hear they do bupkis in the show. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. I'll take you home. Take me home? Take me home? Like I need your help? Why, you condescending little schmendrick? You want a piece of me? No, I That's don't it. want a piece of me. That's it! You <laughs> You You think you Look at them. They love each other. Yeah, yeah. I'm having an idea. Is it the same idea I am having? Yeah. To reward Samori for his years of service, why don't we move him in with Larry and his daughter Kate? He loves them so much. Ah, he loves them. No! And so we close the book on another day of magic and mystery. No, not yet. Now.